Yeah. Don Eddy, straight out of North. Hey, Love. All these niggas think they gangster. Picking up them bangers. Don't know how to hustle, but they twisting up their fingers. Grew up with no daddies, ain't nobody give them Nathan. Grew up in their families, kinda felt like they was racing. Homicide on homicide, niggas living dangerous. See familiar faces on the news, they looking famous. Motherfuckers threw us to the wolves and couldn't tame us. When you see your homie, kill your homie, shoulda changed you. Never be the same, I see my niggas turn to angels Telling us we demons cause of all the hell we came through Gave us a reason to be evil, that's what pain do If they was treated how we treated, they'd do the same too Motherfuckers lock us up in cages, faces on them pages Slave us for them wages, break our backs, that's what the pravers Laugh at us like monkeys when they place us on them stages Taking all our money, that's the only way they playing us Suicide, that's the only time I need my hands cuffed Runnings with police, that shit I never been a fan of Came up in these streets, you rest in peace, you get a fan club And now your name on every t-shirt you see in the dance club I don't need no recognition, I know I'm the answer I see all this repetition, I don't gotta ask them I see how they living and just start looking past them Knowing they gon' crash, won't be hard to outlast Love, making decisions, made some decisions Made a decision for major position Last of a dying breed, in case you was listening 95 babies, they was raising us different Try to tell them how we live, but do they listen though? Nah, try to show them how we feel, but they don't feel it at all Wonder why we live the way we live, because of y'all Trying to tell us what to do, instead of getting involved I lost my nigga to the street, he got hit by a car I think I was like 10, but can't remember that far It's been so long, but can't forget about my nigga Jose When they told me he was dead, I'm thinking, it ain't no way Shit be running through my head, but I'm still in the race Niggas telling me I'm scared, it's like a spit in the face Learned a lot from my big brother, and it's many mistakes Thinking God we had each other, cause these niggas is snakes and I try to show them right from wrong Niggas dying life go on Might just end up like Capone Feds on you like Cologne Back then they ain't want you Now you look like Michael Jones Bitch ain't put no money on the phone Got you writing home Felt I was the one since I begun and chose to write a song I was itty bitty but I always felt like mighty calm Love will get you killed gotta be built just for this life alone Cause you die by yourself and they don't love you till your life is gone love. making decisions Made some decisions Made a decision Major position, last of a dying breed. In case you was listening, 95 babies, they was raising us different. Try to tell them how we live, but do they listen? No, nah. Try to show them how we feel, but they don't feel it at all. Wonder why we live the way we live because of y'all. Trying to tell us what to do instead of getting involved. Trapped in V8 with a whole lot of talent. Ball players, rappers, and we got a lot of balance. It's too much going on. What's your name and where you from? My name Don Eddy. I'm from North of Virginia. Berkeley to be exact. That's where we at right now. Shit. I okay. represent the city, you know what I'm saying? But I'm stepping on the south. You know what I mean? That's how I'm coming. So you grew up out Berkeley? Yes. Um, tell me a little bit about what that was like. Like, paint a picture of your childhood growing up out here. That's kind of a picture of my childhood. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas go to the basketball court ball for hours, you know what I'm saying? This football field part of my childhood. <coughs> this shit kind of helped me build my character, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And got me to recognize what it means to work for something, you know what I'm saying? Um, coming up out here was kind of tough, kind of <coughs> kind of funny for real, for real, because it, we all family, you know what I'm saying? But Everybody don't necessarily resonate with each other or everybody don't necessarily know who related okay. or and shit like that. So it's always something stirred up or something going on. But other than that, shit, it's the spot. Like, motherfuckers come out here and fall in love. Motherfuckers come out early and, and get stuck out here. Motherfuckers, you know, there's certain motherfuckers that was born out here that they never left from out here. There's certain motherfuckers that ain't never gonna leave from out here. Why you think that is? Like, what you think made Berkeley such a iconic hood in your like, it's a gold man like you can literally do anything you need to do out here we got business owners you know what i'm saying majority of these people out here own their crib you know what i'm saying um 
we right next to the shipyard, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of people don't gotta go nowhere. Before we had the farm fresh, we had to go other places and go to Walmart and go to different places. But now, you know what I'm saying? Like for the past like 15 years, that shit been right there. We been out here, you know what I'm saying? Just outside. Um, and then it's just family. Like it's, it's love out here for real, for real, you know what I'm saying? Everybody pretty much know who everybody is. You know what I'm saying? We pretty much take care of each other. I said it in one of my songs one day, like, got down, I think I'm thankful for the ladies out the dock because they the only ones that could have saved me when want nobody outside. If something was to happen to me or a nigga get shot or something, the old ladies would be the ones that call the police and call somebody to come help save us. You know what I'm saying? So shit really got real, you know what I'm saying? And definitely growing up out here really teach you some, some life lessons. If you can make it in Berkeley, you can make it anywhere. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I really believe that shit. I stand on that shit firmly. You know what I mean? So how you feel like Berkeley like molded you uh, to be the person that you are as far as your character? And then as a musician too, but really just like as a person. How do you think Berkeley contributed to that? This is the headquarters. You know what I'm saying? So like Anywhere I go in the world, I'm gonna always come back to the headquarters because everything really starts from here and it started from here. I watched a lot of niggas die. I watched a lot of niggas go to jail. I watched a lot of niggas waste their talent. I watched a lot of niggas lose their talent and go up, you know what I'm saying? Um, everybody want to do the same thing. Everybody want to be the boss. Everybody want to be the man, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's just always better to just be yourself, you know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't gonna like it, everybody ain't gonna connect with you, but it's just always better to be yourself, so... I just always chose my own route when it came to this shit. You know, what What do you feel like is your message to people, not only just kids, but really anybody who's still out Berkeley trying to make it, like kids, teenagers, even adults, because you said some people never leave. So what message do you have for the people that are still in your room? It don't matter how old you are, you can always start over. And it don't matter how young you are, a person can still learn from you. You know what I'm saying? I can still learn from people that's younger than me. These people can still learn from me. Um, and at the end of the day, like, as long as you got breath in your body and you can wake up, you blessed. That's the first thing. You know what I'm saying? You just take that and run with that shit for real, for real. you can't lose. You can't lose. Only way to go is up, especially when you're at rock bottom. You know what I mean? So, what the fuck? You can't. You can't be scared of yourself. You can't be scared of who you is. You know what I mean? You can't be, have fear in what you believe in. You gotta find something that you truly believe in and run with that shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, people gonna doubt you. You gonna doubt yourself. It's gonna be times that you broke. It's gonna be times you fucked up. But you just gotta keep going and get get what you want out of the deal. You know what I'm saying? And strive for it. It ain't gotta be perfect. It ain't nothing perfect. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta let the world know. Like, that's what I do for real, for real. Every time you see one of my videos, every time you see me doing something, I'm putting on for the city because I love the city, you know what I'm saying? We need some real representatives, we need some real niggas. A lot of people don't listen to you unless you somebody, unless you got some money or unless you got notoriety, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, you know what I mean? I just try to make sure that I'm well respected and I respect myself. I don't really give a fuck nobody else thinking, you know what I'm saying? So, you brought up rock bottom earlier. It sounds like you know a little bit about what that feels like <laughs> in your life. So I kind of want to go into that a little bit. Like, what was your lowest point? And how did you find the motivation to make it out of that point to be who you are today? Man, I done lived in the shelter. I done lived with people, I done slept with people's couches, slept with people's clothes. <coughs> Shit, I mean, honestly, like I said, you only got one way to go when you're at Rock Bottom, so... I know it's people out there that got it worse than me. It's always somebody that got it worse, so I always try to make sure that I take my time and visualize and appreciate the shit that I do got, you know what I mean? Um, Coming up from where I'm from, for real, for real, I got every reason to do anything I want to fucking do, for real, for real. But I got composure with myself because I know what I can do. I know what I'm capable of, and I know sometimes I don't know what I'm capable of, you know what I mean? So just having faith in myself and putting my music out and putting my shit out, people rock with it. We 
road. I really only make music for myself. I make music for my mama, I make music for my family, people that know me. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you know. I ain't really a clout chaser. I don't really care for the fame, for real, for real. I just want to take care of my family, doing what I love. You know what I'm saying? So, and people, they show me, they pay me homage and show me appreciation and show me love for that shit. So that's why I just keep doing it. You know what I'm saying? How long you been making do, music? I've been making music since I was like seven years old. Um, I ain't start recording till I was like 13, but I used to take the songs and flip them, put my words to them, and make it my own song. So now I got a whole song to somebody else's song. And then I started taking the song and making my own words and making my own songs to them. And I started making my own music. And uh, a lot of the shit that I was making was just mixtape shit, you know what I'm saying? It was the mixtape era. Wayne was going crazy, you know what I'm saying? Jeezy going crazy, everybody going crazy on the mixtape. Gucci. OJ the Juice man, you know what I'm saying? Like niggas was really turning up. So I made a lot of mixtape shit and I had to start making original music, make more music that resonated with myself. Once I figured out who I was and started to recognize what I felt inside me, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the best way to make music, you know what I mean? Go with your gut, go with your fucking gut. So how was it, like describe how you felt the first time you actually got in the studio and recorded? The first time I got in the studio, mm -hmm. it was a home studio. And uh, I was with my nigga Jonas. His daddy took us to the studio. <coughs> I'm psyched, cause I ain't never been to the studio. I ain't never really recorded nothing, I just wrote. And we got in there, we laid that shit. I think we wrapped off Hate It or Love It, 50 Cent and Game Shit. Mm -hmm. And it was another one on too, we wrapped off two of 50 Cent Jones. And we slid on them shits and I was psyched. I swear we listened to them shits back to back to back. I wish I had them songs and them CDs right now. <laughs> no bullshit. But. I was so excited, that's what kept me going, kept me motivated. And then like, majority of the stuff that I was doing was always from somebody crib, or a little desktop, you know what I'm saying? Until it really got serious, and it was like, oh shit, this what, this what the studio look like, this what it's supposed to sound like, this is how you put the feel when you're in the booth. It's how you really get your shit together, and take it serious, you know what I'm saying? Like, perfect your craft, I should say. So, So how do you feel about the overall scene, the music scene in Virginia? Like, a lot of people have a lot to say about it. They say we don't have a sound. They say it's full of hate. They say it's full of clout chasers. They say uh, niggas biting off each other. How do you feel about it? <coughs> some gas oil. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I like the rap scene around here. Mm -hmm. It just needs some structure. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people that's making music, not going with the full process. They just putting shit out. There's a lot of niggas that's just rapping. Then you got niggas that's taking the street shit and putting it into the raps. And a lot of shit niggas don't stand on. A lot of shit niggas do stand on. We seen the shit that happened with Smurda, you know? You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody got to tell us that these people listening to what the fuck niggas talking about. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, Virginia scene, it's like they always say ain't no love or niggas don't show love or they say Virginia for lovers but they say it ain't no support in Virginia. It don't make sense, you know what I'm saying? So what I think is everybody wanna do it, everybody wanna kick the door, everybody wanna be famous, everybody wanna be the man. Niggas think they Hollywood already. And it's nothing wrong with knowing your worth, it's nothing wrong with feeling like, damn, I'm the shit, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with taking yourself to the top and making yourself feel like that, post to. Um, but it'd be arrogance when you make yourself more important than you really is or try to make somebody else feel lower. Like people always say, damn bro, you a soccer dad. You would tell a nigga they music good and it ain't. It ain't even the fact that I tell a nigga they music good. I just tell them to keep going, keep doing what they doing. You know what I'm saying? Strive for what they want to do because I ain't gonna kill a nigga dreams because I feel like my music better than this. Or I feel like my quality better, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't gonna care about the dreams. I just tell them, yeah, bro, keep doing what you're doing. I support you because you're trying. It take a lot just to get on the stage. You know what I'm saying? Do, Do that you feel like that's for their best benefit though, if their music isn't all the way there sonically? Everybody don't got to rap. You know what I'm saying? Everybody don't got to sing. Everybody don't got to be the artist. So maybe they can do something else in that area. You know what I mean? Or uh, maybe somebody around them that they need to push harder. Maybe they need to just work with their craft. You know what I mean? It take time to really get where you want to be and it take patience. Um, a lot of the times, you don't really know how something
certain you is. Like I might put a song out for the ladies who think they gonna love this shit and don't nobody like it. Okay? I'm gonna make another one. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Or I might put one out and that shit might be a hit. You know what I'm saying? So it just is what it is, you know. Well, so what are some things that you feel like you could do better as an artist? Or what are some things that, you know, you used to do that you feel like you progressed from? Like in what areas do you feel like you progress as a person? I feel like I can drop a lot more, but I ain't controlled by the industry. I drop when the fuck I want to. You know what I'm saying? I try to drop quarterly for real, for real. Like maybe in the beginning of the year, the middle of the year. You know what I'm saying? Like that. But I think I can drop more. I think I can put out more videos, more content. Um, I help a lot of motherfucking artists, yo. Like a lot of people went tell y'all what I did for them. Tell you, hey, yo, he the reason I picked up the pen. You know what I'm saying? Like ain't nobody gonna give me their homage. Tato gave me the homage, fucking Uno, you know what I'm saying? It's a few artists that'll give me that homage for us because they know where I came from in this music game. But other than that, ain't nobody gonna tell nobody how I came out of the gutter and really came up and stood on my ground. There's a few people that tell me behind closed doors, you know what I'm saying? Bro, you really the one, bro. Bro, you really stood your own ground. But I think, I think, I take it personal too, you know what I'm saying? When niggas don't act like they fuck with me in person or in public. Like, a motherfucker be like, yeah, bro, you cool, bro, I fuck with you, da 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 da. Fuck with your moves, I be listening to your shit in the crib. You know what I'm saying? Nigga see me out or whatever like that, act like they don't know me. Or a nigga be out in public and act like they know me. And then on the internet, be a whole different person, you know what I'm saying? So I don't really be tied in with niggas and locking in with niggas like that. It's a lot of niggas that I owe features. And if I owe you a feature, come get it. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, I ain't chasing nobody. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? So the music scene around here kind of just need a little bit of structure. That's all. So are there any people that you want to work with that you haven't already? It's a lot of people that I want to work with. I'm fans of a lot of artists. But... I'm not no groupie, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm an artist myself, you know what I'm saying? I can pay how much with this dude. I'll tell a nigga when they shit hot, your shit hot, I'ma let you know. If your shit not, it needs some work, but I ain't gonna curry, you, you know what I'm saying? Other than that, I wanna work with everybody. Dang, everybody? If a nigga don't wanna work with me, fuck him. I ain't tripping. But I work with everybody, I ain't tripping, you know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, like, I know everybody don't wanna pay, but you gotta pay to play. I had to pay to play, I gotta pay to play. You know what I'm saying? So they, I don't rap for free. You know what I'm saying? If I do a feature with a nigga because I want to, or I, I like the song, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, niggas gotta pay to play, man. Fuck that shit. So, what are you working on right now? What like what do you have about to drop or right? I'm just working on singles and uh, just getting my shit on more radio stations. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my shit be on Sunday night spot, like my shit be spinning sometimes. On different online radios and shit like that. College radio stations and shit. So just trying to get the spins up. Don't be getting breezy out here, ain't it? Bullshit. Alright, we about to wrap this up. So, um, what uh, is a fact about you that you want people to know that you feel like they don't know? Fact? Yeah, or like something interesting about you that you want people to know that you feel like they don't know. They don't really tap in. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm, I try to be humble because I know that's what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I'm really the one, bro. I rap, I sing, I write, I freestyle. It's, it's literally nothing that I can't do. I can make a beat too, but it's in my head. I'm making it in my head. I gotta get savvy with the fruity loops and shit. But other than that, I'm really musically inclined, bro. I'm a, I'm a musical genius, you know what I'm saying? And it ain't always about being the hardest. It ain't always about, you know what I'm saying, turning up or being sad neither, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of pain when it comes to making music, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of people constant that use that. But real, for real. Shout out to my nigga Tato. 
Long live Burley Boy Tate, Long live Rooster, Long live Wap Nine, um, Long live King Sean, you know what I'm saying? It's too many people. Uh, you know what I mean? We done lost too many niggas. Got now, um, I just buried my nigga Hell Real. You know what I mean? Free Cap B, you know what I'm saying? Free Kush Man, Free Seamus, Free Eastside. Just talked to Eastside earlier today, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just trying to keep it all the way G to the core. I ain't even with the fuck shit for real, for real. If a nigga don't fuck with me, he mad about a bitch or something. You know what I mean? Because I don't even deal with nobody that fuck with nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, other than that, I ain't tripping on shit. And I ain't even got smoke with nobody. So if a nigga say they got smoke with me, then they can come find me or see me or say what's up or whatever. Because I ain't really, you know what I mean? Like, I ain't. Niggas be having imaginary beef, internet beef, shit like that. I don't even know half the motherfuckers on the internet that know me. So when it come down to it, I don't even be knowing people, man. I might see you and gotta remember your face and remember who you is. So I definitely pay attention to who support me. I pay attention to who show love. And I pay attention to who don't show love. Because that means I gotta watch who the fuck around me. You know what I'm saying? Like straight up, I ain't with none of the fuck shit. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my uptown family. I got some family uptown, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? The lights, you know what I'm saying? No of you, you know what I mean? Pop place, you know what I mean? Got my ocean zoo. I'm out here, man. I ain't, you know what I mean? I'm a real Norfolk nigga. Like, I done lived in Richmond, 804. Shout out to my 804 family. I done lived in North Carolina. Shout out to my Greensboro family, Goldsboro. You know what I'm saying? Raleigh. Charlotte, you know what I'm saying? I got some family down there and shit, man. Got some family in Boston, you know what I mean? Shout out to my New York family, my Philly family, my Maryland family, <laughs> my Texas family, my California family, my Florida family, my Atlanta family. Man, come on, bro. We about to take this shit nationwide, bro, on a high note. You hear me? Man, no question. Real talk, bro. This motherfucking wind taking my whole down here. I'm about <laughs> no to say that. <laughs>